Hello! So this is going to be my second video journal for the course. And tonight I am going to discuss about uh, my reflection regarding the EVPs or the evidence-based practices. Um, which one I'm familiar with, um, the ones that are new to me, which one are, um, another question would be which one are, would you be interested in learning more, more about and why, and my thoughts regarding the phases of autism. Um, with regards to the EVPs that it was being discussed in the IRIS module, um, I think there's like 27 of them. I counted, uh, hopefully my numbers are right. And so um, I didn't, I'm not really using a lot of those EVPs in the current um, classroom situation because I am an RSV teacher. But I always base most of my experiences from the past in the in the last couple of years that I've been teaching in special ed. Eight years of it was mostly in the low incidence classroom. And last year was the year that I was actually more focused on those EVPs when we started to pilot. Um, we were piloting a program, the STARS program in our district. And um, I'm very familiar with the functional behavior assessment, the picture exchange communication system, prompting, reinforcement, response, interruption, and redirection. And um, though I have used them in the past, I'm not very sure though about their technical um, the technical terms. And I just happened to like browse through it quickly and then I was given tasks to follow. And they, I'm pretty sure that it was based among those EVPs that were being discussed. So um, if I rate those um, EVPs that I am very familiar with, I would say the FBA and the PECs and prompting would be the one that would be on top of my list. FBA because I, I do a lot of the functional behavior assessment for... Um, to, to, um, to study the behavior of a child, usually I had a lot of aggressive kids that were kind of something that we were really studying towards learning the behavior and trying to find ways, systematic ways and to solve those um, problematic behavior. Pecs, a lot of my kids were nonverbal. And so um, in kindergarten, that's when we started providing... Um, strategies for pecs and for the kids to be able to like communicate to us to have those visual schedule and also to be able to communicate re with regards to their basic needs so um that's a lot of it and um the most of those ebps actually work hand in hand and some of them are like um some of them are new to me in the sense that i was not really working and I was not really focused on, on those EVPs. And I would say um, I would like to learn more about the technology-aided instruction and intervention. Um, mainly because technology is always like changing from time to time. Um, it has always evolved through time and um, I can't keep up with it. As much as I, I wanted to learn more about what's available out there, but there's actually more than I could, um, we have been using in the classroom. And um, to the point that I'm not aware of that, that uh, it's actually available, so I'm not, I'm not able to use it in my classroom. So that's one thing I want to learn some more. And um, technology is also something that most of the kids are interested, especially the kids with autism. When the iPads came out, like all the kids that I've worked with responded more to iPads rather than be working on a paper and pencil. And um, they have the response, they're drawn towards it a lot. And so I think it would really be a wonderful tool to understand those technology and use them in the classroom, use them to help with kids with um, ASD. So what are my thoughts regarding the faces of autism? Um, I have listened to Tyler's mom who actually talked about Tyler being um, nonverbal. 
and she also talked about um, her fears for the future and um, I, I was drawn towards it because a lot of the parents that I work with have the same fear for the future for their kids they don't know what's gonna happen they're not so sure if the kids are gonna be successful um, they're not comfortable and how things are going especially if there is already aggression um, if a lot of they're not really learning as much as the parent wanted them to learn and so she also talked about um, technology aided instruction and also how Tyler was able to communicate better with the use of an iPad like I said um, Technology is really something big. Um, it evolves through time. There are a lot of things that are new and um, I'm just very glad that technology is also helping other kids in the areas of communication, especially for our kids with autism. And it has been a, a huge, um, it, it, it has been an avenue for them to express themselves more, to understand the world more, to um to be able to communicate with other people with the use of iPad. And I'm excited for the future. I'm actually excited for the future as much as um, Tyler's mom also discussed about that and how Tyler was able to communicate more with regards to with the use of the iPad. And so that's really wonderful. And I'm, I'm wishing and hoping that in the future, um, there would be more technology that would be geared towards helping our kids with autism, not just in communication, but in all other areas, such as um, um, aiding them towards their daily lives, not just to communicate, but also to have, um, I don't know, maybe robots for them to like to practice for their social skills and eventually apply those social skills in the real situation. Um, I'm The future is bright. I, I, I really think that um, technology is available for, for, for a lot of people, especially for the kids of autis with autism in the future. It's going to evolve. I'm excited for that. And hopefully I would be able to use that in my classroom as well. So that I can also be um, an instrument for the success for each of the kids that I will be working in the future. So um, overall, my learning of the EBPs, um, I have I have learned some more of those EBPs in a in a in a deeper in a deep in a in a deeper context, and also um, I am. I am gearing towards technology as something that I really want to learn in the future as well. Thank you so much.